Well, February is National Heart Month, and the ProMedica Heart Vascular Institute's handed out these red glow sticks. Perhaps you saw them when we had the lights off and we came up on our broadcast tonight. Uh, gave them out to fans, the folks that came tonight, to help raise awareness uh, because heart disease, number one killer of men and women in the United States, and joining me here in the booth, Dr. Raj Qatar, who's a cardiologist with the ProMedica Physicians Cardiology. Uh, doctor, I mean, talk about this a little bit. I'm surprised almost to read that about heart disease, but it is really huge, isn't it? Yeah, even though we've come a long way with prevention, it's still n the number one killer in women and men. Um, and uh, in women, it actually is sometimes harder to figure out the symptoms. I mean, the classic symptoms that we all hear about are um, chest discomfort right. on the left side of the chest. And classically, it's described as pressure, heaviness, um, something sitting on the chest, generally on the left side, but it can be across the chest and radiating to the left arm. And many times it's associated with shortness of breath or with sweating or diaphoresis. So I think if you have exertional pain, um, let's say you're doing exercise, mowing the lawn, things of that sort, and mm -hmm. you start to develop this discomfort, that's the classic sign. Now, some of the more not so classic signs are just getting short-winded. And that can be from a lot of different things, but there are many people, especially as you get older, where the only symptom that you get with blockages in the coronary arteries is shortness of breath. And then really, I mean, first case, I know I hear it a lot from doctors. I mean, it's it's always seeing your doctor early to try to identify these things as early as possible, correct? Exactly, exactly. And one of the things that um, the, the first, one out of three patients that present with heart disease, it's a heart attack. Um, they won't have any warning signs. So you'll suddenly develop the sweats, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, and and that you need to go to the emergency room right away if you have that. Some people will just get pain down the left arm, and that will be the main that that will be the symptom. Now in women, th it may not be as classic. Um, they may not have the exertional symptoms. They may just have fatigue, shortness of breath. Sometimes the pain can be on the right side. And uh, and in the past, we've all you know uh, the problem has been with women is we've attributed the symptoms to anxiety. You know, we say, yeah. oh, oh yeah. yes, yeah. You know, you're, just, you're just being anxious or something of that sort. And that's why women are generally underdiagnosed. And so those are really the classic symptoms. So I think the main take home points are exertional chest discomfort, exertional shortness of breath, discomfort in the left arm. I didn't mention the jaw, yeah. pain in the jaw. So those are really the classic symptoms, um, but also look out for the atypical symptoms. Yeah, it's amazing. Sometimes you just don't think of it. It's just like, oh, you know, might right. bother you a little bit. And, right, right, and, right. And then it'll go away and you're good, right? You think you're good. You think you're good. I've had some patients present with just indigestion. Like they'll try taking Tums, they'll have pain in, uh, in their upper belly, mm. and it ends up being a heart attack. And so nice. I think one of the things is if that pain continues or you start to feel really bad, really short of breath, sweaty with it, you should also seek medical attention right away and get to the emergency room. Well, there you go. Some great uh, symptoms to be on the lookout here. It is, as we mentioned, National Heart Month. And uh, Dr. Qatar, I appreciate you coming in, sure, uh, giving no us problem. these and uh, no giving problem. some things uh, for folks to think about here in this, uh, in this month while we are focusing on the heart. Yeah, and especially in Lucas County, Toledo area, Northwest Ohio, we have a very high incidence of heart disease. So, and especially be careful shoveling out there. Well. Oh yeah, and the cold. Yeah, and the cold. absolutely. And the cold. The cold <laughs> constricts the arteries in the heart. So, if you have a heart condition, the, it's advised. The advice is not to shovel, or if you have to go out, just go out for short periods of time. I appreciate All it, right? as always. Stay with us. We'll be right back to the Huntington Center after a scoreless first. All right. Thank you. 